guys, Riley and Perry here with some breaking news. That's right, Paramount has finally released the date for their upcoming Transformers spinoff. Bumblebee has been officially dated for December 21st, 2018. Now, Bumblebee is being helmed by Kubo in the Two Strings Helmer, Travis Knight, so we're not getting Michael Bay this time, but along with this Christmas release for a Transformers movie, we have the official cast list, which was also announced, and joining Haley Steinfeld is none other than John Cena. That's right, the guy best known for Trainwreck. I'm kidding, he's a wrestler, <laughs> and he's damn good at what he does. I'm actually excited for the addition of John Cena for this Transformers movie, but Perry, what is this movie opening up against? So yeah, I will echo that. I'm excited about John Cena. I really did jo enjoy his performance in Trainwreck, so I'm excited to see what he brings to this one. Wow, it's going to be an uphill battle, though. That was quite the date to pick, because when you look at December 2018, there's a lot of big stuff dropping. Yeah. We have the animated Spider-Man movie from Sony and Mortal Engines coming on the 14th. Mm -hmm. After that, it's Aquaman and some untitled Fox Lightstorm film. I don't know about that, but Aquaman is big enough in and of itself. And then here's the juggernaut. It's uh, Mary Poppins Returns. and. That's a big one, especially when you consider how big Beauty and the Beast was. And you know what? Beauty and the Beast had a ripple effect that affected my Power Rangers. So I'm thinking the same might happen here where, you know, this Bumblebee movie might get stopped dead in its tracks. It already has an uphill battle because this last movie was not well received. And this, this Bumblebee movie, even though it has the Transformers name attached, it's almost like when we're thinking about a Star Wars standalone movie or a, an introduction movie to a solo character in the MCU. It's not as big as when you have the whole group coming back, when That's it's right. just focused on one character. So unless this Bumblebee movie comes together and early reviews say it's incredible, it's going to have a good deal of competition here. Well, we also got an official synopsis, so let's decide there. And it, it reads like this. On the run in the year 1987, Bumblebee finds refuge in a junkyard in a small California beach town. Charlie, played by Steinfeld, is on the cusp of turning 18 and trying to find her place in the world. She discovers Bumblebee, battle-scarred and broken. And when Charlie revives him, she quickly learns this is no ordinary, ordinary yellow VW bug. So Terry, does that do anything for you? I do not, I agree with you. I think Aquaman and I think Mary Poppins, which got a huge reaction at D23, is just going to eclipse Bumblebee. Transformers is on its way out. There's audience fatigue. Does this synopsis change your mind? The synopsis itself doesn't change my mind because, you know, it's a bare bones log line of sorts. Right. I mean, really, the only thing that stands out there is the time period it takes place in, but that alone is not going to be enough of a hook to say, this Bumblebee movie has the potential to outshine some of those other things and really make some serious money come Christmas time. Hopefully as we get closer and we learn more plot details and we start to see some footage and material, when this thing finally does go into principal photography, that might be the time where I get a little more faith in the Transformers franchise. That's right, and I have a little bit more faith because of Travis Knight and because of what he did with Kubo and the Two Strings. There is hope on the future for Transformers fans, but let's hear from you guys. What do you think? Does this Bumble, uh, Bumblebee movie, <laughs> the, bu the does Bumble the Bumblebee movie, movie does, it's a tongue twister, does it sound good to you? Do you wanna see this? Are you gonna see this over Aquaman or Mary Poppins? Returns, drop in your comments right now, and we wanna hear from you and keep on checking in with Collider Video. For Riley and Perry, we'll see you next time.